Hi, I'm so glad you're joining me today for devotions. I'm like, phew, chapter six of Romans is just so amazing because it is so rich. And I just love spending this time with you on Saturday and just sharing with you um, just what God's showing me through the scripture as I read through it. So we're still doing that same thing. We're like reading through the scripture. We're observing what's happening in the scripture. We're applying it to our lives and then we're praying about those things. And so today, um, I'm just like, I'm kind of overwhelmed by how much is in here today. And I'm just so excited. And I, I want you to just really dive into this in chapter six. So um, Paul starts out with how we are dead to sin and alive to Christ. And so he's, he's giving this picture of baptism, which I think is just so amazing, how we die to our sins and then we're made alive in Christ. So we go down into the water and we're dead to our sin and we're alive in Christ, just like Christ went to the grave, conquered sin, and was risen again. And so like, this is this, this beautiful picture of how we currently um, represent that in our Christian walk. But the most amazing thing about this is we see what God does through this. So I'm gonna sk skip down a little bit into um, verse um, 14. Um, it says, for sin shall not be your master because you're not under law, but under grace. And so Paul talks a lot here about sin and the law in, um, in Romans. And the thing that I love about this is that we are under grace right now. And so the law really shows us that we're sinful. It doesn't save us. It doesn't give us power over that sin at all. Not at all. All it shows us is our depravity as men. But grace, on the other hand, is completely different. Grace gives us the power to live out. Christ gives us that power to live out our walk, to have um, power over the sin in our life. But it's not because of us. It's not because of anything that we do, but it's everything because of what he has done for us. And that's the exciting part of it to me, because as you walk through that, those waters of baptism and you see people go, go down in the waters and come up, it's a picture always to me of how I am dead in my sin and alive in Christ. And it's because of Christ that I have power over sin in my life, not because of anything that I can do within myself. And so it's the reason that when we have baptisms, like I'm literally in tears all the time because I know the power of what God can do in somebody's life during that time. So today I'm just, I'm super fired up about this because it's something I was just so passionate about and seeing the power of God work in our lives. And so today I want us to be praying about where are we not recognizing that power of God in our lives? Because sometimes we just don't. And knowing that Christ has given us the power over those sins that are repetitive, those sins that are difficult, those sins that we don't even want to talk about, where are we missing the mark? And we're like, I'm not really sure God can speak to that. He can today. And I want to tell you that you can bring that to God today and he can work in that, whatever that is, wherever we're missing the mark, wherever we're struggling. And so that's my prayer today for you. And our application is to take it to God. And that's the repentance from that is turning from what we do. And so today we have the power to do that. And so I'm praying for you today that you find those places where you have lost hope, where you're not sure that you have power anymore over sin, and you bring that to God and find victory in that. Have a great Saturday. I so enjoy this time spending um, the time in scripture with you. And I pray that you will just take the time to read through Romans all the way through Romans 14, 6, 14 today. We're doing Romans 1 through 14. Or, uh, sorry, Romans 6, 1 through 14. So read those verses today and see what God says to you. Comment below what God's sharing in your heart and, and doing with you as you're reaching, reading through this. And give me a like if you join me today because I, I love to know that you're joining and talking with God about these things as well. Have a great Saturday.